good morning. It is 7.32 a.m. Friday the 12th of February, 37 degrees outside here in Corpus Christi. Let's go ahead and have a peek, even though you've already seen this. Oh, absolutely beautiful. So you can see my little GoPro out there. It's recording, but I'm afraid there will be no sunrise to speak of, but maybe I've shown you the birds. I don't know, I'm still recording it, so I have no idea what the footage looks like, but there we go. And high tide comes in this evening, you said at 5.30? 5.30, 5.40, something like that. Yeah. So um, we're hoping to see if that makes a difference in the coastline here, if it, you know, gives us a little more water, if it always looks like this, I don't know. A little sandbar out there. Um, but later on today, maybe we'll go take a walk around. Actually, probably not today, maybe tomorrow. Oh, you can just see the bridge in the distance right there. Wow, that's pretty cool. We couldn't see that yesterday. Oh, all right. Well, we'll have to see what we can get of that. Oh, and there's something out in the water out there. I don't know. So uh, as the day progresses, I'll try and show you more out here. But we are... <laughs> we are definitely going to be going for a walk around the property and filming that. No, I don't have any of those up on the channel yet from the park walkthroughs. I just haven't had a chance to get them edited. But I will definitely be working on that over the next couple of weeks. Next week we may head up to Austin and um, just for a weekend. We actually have this park booked for next weekend. But I had it booked contingent upon the weather here. And we went ahead and came and um it's uh, now we wish we hadn't yeah now we wish we had waited but um because a lot of the outdoor activities are um it's too cold to do them but we are still going to go take a drive around today um i'm trying this walk's going to get too long so i have to cut it short but i'm about to make breakfast i'm going to make a keto mcgriddle this morning in my uh, little dash thingy uh and then i'm going to make rob some bri biscuits and we're gonna have some gravy and we're gonna have some sausage and eggs and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make a big hearty breakfast because we're gonna be gone for several hours today. I wanna make sure we're nice and full. We'll bring some snacks for lunch. And um, then dinner tonight is on the Blackstone, but I may just do it in the skillet on the stove because it's so cold outside. Oh, have Philly cheesesteak. So unless we're out and about today and decide to hit some restaurant along the way and bring it home, <laughs> there's always that option. If you could only smell this, <laughs> this smells amazing. There's the batter, it makes a lot of batter, but I'll leave the recipe linked for you in the description box, but we're just gonna make, it's not ready yet. I'm just gonna make um, McGriddles, and I probably should have sprayed that. I, no, there we go. Oh, whoops. That looks amazing, amazing. So we're making those. The sausage, I just, picked up microwavable sausage this time. I've got that in the microwave. Got the biscuits in the oven for Rob. Now I'm gonna make, now I'm gonna make a uh, white gravy. Simple, super simple, um, but I need the grease from the, bit, from the sausage. So once I'm done making the buns for the McGriddle, uh, then I will make the white gravy. It'll take me two seconds, so. Um, and I will leave both the white gravy and the McGriddle recipe down for you in the description box. So we're discovering we need a dehumidifier. That's actually on the inside of the camper. So uh, that is on the list. We're going to do some research and get one ordered because that's a problem. <laughs> We've already cleaned it once and it's coming back. All right, here's my egg. There's the cooked gravy. I'm out of pepper. So I'm just going to make do. And that's got bacon and sausage grease in it because I didn't have enough of one or the other. So I'm going to show you the assembly next. Still making um, McGriddles or the bread for it. Here's one more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we're going to get about eight out of the recipe. It only said you'd get five, but I've gotten eight. So all right, here's my, as I lid to a little storage container. So my fried egg, my McGriddle bread here, my sausage, and my you know what? I'm going to flip-flop these. And then I'm going to stick it in the microwave for about 10-15 seconds to melt the cheese, rewarm up the bread, put it together, and then I'm diving in. He's going to have some biscuits, some sausage, some biscuits, and some gravy. Okay, here's Roberts. He likes the biscuit with the sausage, and then he dips in the gravy. And of course, breakfast of champions. He only has soda when we're traveling. Yep. So, all right. And I'll let you know how delicious it is afterwards. We got some Josh the RV nerd to watch with breakfast, so I'll see you in a second. 
But in the meantime, just a little bit of uh, deliciousness to look at. Yum. Yes, I know the egg is overcooked. I wouldn't have cooked it that much. I did that in the microwave, but lesson learned. That was delicious. Delicious. Um, so if you like the McDonald's ones, from what I remember, it's been many years since I've had one. They were very syrupy tasting, so I would recommend you drizzle. If that's better, if you like it super syrupy tasting, um, you drizzle a little bit of the syrup over the inside of the sandwich. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I have enough for one, two, three more sandwiches because, yeah. So here's the bread itself and uh, you could meal prep this have your sausage already cooked, have everything cooked. That way all you have to do in the morning is throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds. You could even prepare your eggs in advance. Um, maybe do a sous vide, sous vide, whatever those eggs are called. You know, the little circle eggs. You could prepare a bunch of those, have them all ready to go, and in the morning you just throw it all together and microwave it for 30 seconds. I wouldn't stack it and freeze it that way or store it that way. The bread would get soggy, but um, delicious. Okay, so I did the dishes. We're about to head out, and I'm wearing this adorable sweater from The Loft. It's a cable knit. It's not, it's probably acrylic. I have no idea the material, but it is snugly warm for here. I do have a t-shirt on, and then my jeans and my cute, can you see them? Hold on. And my cute boots that I showed you, I picked up, and underneath I have leggings, because you guys know I'm always cold. <laughs> So, and of course I'm gonna be bringing my fluffy, fluffy, fluffy Old Navy jacket. Not much better of a view today, but our RV park is... Miles. Turn left onto oh my goodness, it's all the birds. No, it's too cold. But our RV park is just back that direction, sort of, so. Because we can see this bridge from from our window, yes. Thank you, honey. I couldn't get it out of my mouth. So, and, um, I keep clearing the window because we're warm humans and it's very, very, very cold outside. It is currently 37 degrees outside. I don't know what the wind chill is, but it's very, very windy. All right, and of course we're headed to the beach. <laughs> Mustang Island State Park. Look at the camping spots over there. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we might have to try this out. Something is under construction right over there. We're not sure what. Looks like bathrooms. Or yeah, it does look like bathrooms. Station? Yep, dump is right there. <laughs> School bus. Oh, a schoolie. Look at that. All right, so yeah, these just have water and electric. Very clearly see that. We're gonna turn around. We're just not comfortable in the sand, um, taking the truck in the sand. So we're gonna turn around, go park, take a walk to the beach. Oh, it's chilly. No, we won't be spending much time out here. No. I mean, it is like, oh, now it's 39. And, it up. and very windy. Kind of drizzly and nasty. He's not bundled up, but I am. I'm bundled. Y'all know I'm in layers. I got a sweatshirt and a jacket on. I'm good. I got jeans. <laughs> I would be freezing. Let's go, you guys. Um, beautiful. The water down here is a little nicer than in Galveston. Oh, there is a camper down there. You can camp on the beach. Oh, hello. Hey, bird. Oh 
Oh my goodness, it is so cold. <laughs> he, even Robert's cold. <laughs> and I never get cold. No, he, he, I mean, don't. He, the only time I remember him actually, my, I can't even talk my face life. I was in. <laughs> the only time I really remember him ever being super cold was on that boat whale watching in Alaska. Mm -hmm. That was cold. <laughs> we are now headed to, honestly, we're booked in for the Padre National Padre Island National Seashore. I can't talk. My face is frozen. I don't think we're gonna do that. We're gonna head on over to Goose Island State Park and uh, just so we can check out the camping. We had it booked, but we canceled it for next week. Um, Standing out there enjoying the dump. Yeah, that's a problem with the dump, man. You gotta just wait. Um, yeah, there's no flush. So, um, anyway, but uh, we are not comfortable driving on the beach, and that is what the Padre Island National Seashore is. And if it weren't so cold, we would for sure go for a nice little walk along the beach. But, I mean, we were just out there five minutes, freezing. and it was freezing. So, sadly, we just were going to skip that. Um, so we will head next to Goose Island State Park. Okay, we're just gonna drive around because like we've already said, it's very cold outside. So we're just gonna drive around, see what we see. We had this booked for next week to camp overnight. And um, I'd like to find the spot that we reserved. Uh, it's right on the bay, so. Watch that tree got some nicks taken out of it. I don't know if you saw that. See you out there or on there. <laughs> Look, you guys, the water is clear. It's cloudy, but it's also very, very windy. So, I mean, that's why it would be cloudy. Holy moly. around spots. wonder if the water must be pretty deep here because yep, we're heading back. There's the bridge and the truck's right over there. Here's the other side and the wind is going to be in our face so we are definitely going to be cold. water is pretty clear uh, in the summertime or when it's not blowing like this. Whew. All right, Mr. Finn. Okay, so here we are going back the other direction, defrosting as we move along. As you can see, there's a little walkway down into, stairway down into the uh, bay right there. I don't know about the water depth right here, but it looked pretty shallow on that. Uh, here. And there's a campsite right there. You see the electrics on the inside. There is water and electric on these sites. Nice little spot to camp. So um, 
we'll have to come back. We wanted to stay um, in the, on the water, but we canceled for next week. So, and you guys, believe it or not, but next week we're due for even more cold weather. I, I have no idea what's going on, but I'm not gonna complain. This is Big Tree. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Okay, we're gonna go see Big Tree. It's in the middle up here. Hang on. That's a climbing tree. That is crazy. Look at that thing. I bet it's beautiful in the spring. Yep. Like it's got little supports on it so it doesn't fall. You all, see all the strings running through to help keep it stable? Yep. Or wire, I suppose that's not strings. Wow. The big tree. Just walk around with it. Okay. It's got a circular path and I will keep your eyes on the tree the whole time. Oh, that was big tree. Heading on back to the truck now. Burr.